dark and scary. Doesn't it seem apt that we should do it dark and scary? You'll have to excuse the background noise because we had a uh, some sort of skunk incident around our house. It's the second time in the last month. Must be Halloween. All things zombie reloaded. Why do I have this game? <clears throat> I have this game, uh, and I'm excited about having this game because my 11 year old and I played this when I borrowed it, a copy from a buddy of mine. And it was the only board game I could get him to really get into. He really dug the zombies. So when I saw that uh, All Things Zombie uh, Reloaded was out, I thought, heck, this would be cool. So let's have a look. Uh, I just need to get shrink wrap off. Now for all the folks that I don't know very much about this game. I've only played it a couple of times. And I don't really know very much about what's in here either. So we're going to explore together. So we have the event cards. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Character cards. Rule book, which we'll come back to. Uh, different format, it's got a nice spine on the back of it. We have interaction tables. Oh, okay. 2d6 reaction table, I like it. This lets you know much more clearly, I think, than the previous rule book what the heck is going on and what's on the back here. Uh, 1d6 per rep. Talk the talk table. <laughs> okay, this looks like something perhaps for a campaign or something like that. We'll have to check that out. I'll read up on that for you. Combat tables. They're standard but much clearer and better organized than the original version for what I recall. But I don't think there were recovery tables. Maybe there were uh, in, the, uh, in the original game. I don't know. And on the back there, there's a melee and charge into melee tables. This game is also great for minis as well. If you've got uh, zombies and uh, NPCs and characters and stuff, you can put on uh, a nice map or on these maps, even though they look pretty awesome. Okay, so just more, all the different encounter tables and movement attributes that you get to roll for. All right. Oh wow, nice big maps, here we go. Let's check it out. There's a bunch of stuff here. Two, I think that one's new. Not seen that one before. Two maps. These entrance arrows are new as well. Three. It's actually four, this is the fourth one here. That's one you probably all recognize. And then this guy. So there's a bunch of maps, so new maps, extra maps. And I don't know if they're extra or just combined from an expansion or something like that. That's, that's how much I know about the game. Let's check out the counter quality and make sure everything's all legit here. A little baggy, some dice. Okay. Let's focus in on our characters. Let's check them out. Now these are the nice punch and play. Whoa, I'm off the table here. Hang on a second. Punch and play uh, counters. So you've got Tonya on the top left hand side. Bunch of zombies. A couple of extra characters I think. I don't recall seeing Bank or Professor. Probably Professor was in it. Uh, there may be a couple of extra characters here, I'm not sure. But you do have survivors and militia and gang... What did it say, ganger? <laughs> all right, very cool. And these are all nicely done as well. Nice and even, I like them. Let me zoom out for you. So you can see them all there. 
So I know that's not a particularly in-depth look, but I just thought since it had arrived, I would show it to you. I will try and get something played before we do uh, Halloween, if all that rolls around, which will be, I think that's next week or the week after, something like that. I think it's next week. Let's have a quick look at the rule book. Nice big index. Some creepy artwork on the side there. That dude's in bad shape. That's a bad hair. Look at that hair. Looks like my hair. Now these are much different layouts from the previous uh, previous games. They've obviously put a little bit of effort into working out how uh, how they want to how they want you to learn this game and formatting it so that it's a little easier to learn. Little exercises for you, so kind of gu a guided learning experience here. Turn sequence. <laughs> I love the little comments. There's all these little comments on the pictures here. Done it. Well, it's a pretty comprehensive rule book. Look at that. There's little uh, little tutorials here that tell you what to do. Take two opposing gangsters out. Roll for activation. Move a character. Assume that one of the characters is fired. Blah blah blah. <laughs> this is great. This is awesome. Oh, very cool. I'm really looking forward. To oh, look at this dude. I'm looking forward to playing this game so much. And when I play with my 11 year old, we just kind of made the rules up a little bit. We changed some things to make it easy. Okay, let's get to the scenarios. Let's we'll see what the deal is with the scenarios. So I'll be stacking, reactions, yada, yada, yada. All right, campaigns. So look, there you go. There's a full campaign system in here, which you didn't really have last time, which is a set of scenarios. What are the, what, what's the goal of the campaign? You call the games together to one story and what occurs in one encounter. Alright. Okay. Alright, so it's going to link all the different aspects together and you're going to play the scenarios. <coughs> Where are the scenarios? Encounters. I'm confused. Well, here we go. Here they all are. 21 take back, 20 raid rescue, 19 search, 18 encounters. Okay, so it looks like we're starting on 19 search, and then we go through. There's a bunch of scenarios in here, so that's pretty cool. So eight, seven scenarios plus a campaign mode. Very interesting. Okay, I'm obviously gonna have to read these before I try and uh, throw my couple of kids into this. We might be able to play this together and have some fun. Good job, Ed Texiera. Look forward to playing this. Thanks, uh, Lock and Load, for getting it to me. All the best.